Happy Thursday, and I am so, so excited that today is the day you really get to stand out and feature your business by doing a Facebook Live in the group. But don't worry, I'm gonna be giving you all my favorite top trips, top tips when it comes to doing a Facebook Live. So I'm gonna make sure this is working okay because I was having some Facebook Live issues yesterday. Um, but once I know that this has popped up okay, we'll get started. I'm so excited to dive in with you today. Congrats, I wanna say to Elisa, Amanda, and Melissa that have already done their Facebook lives in the group today. I could not be prouder. <laughs> but if you haven't done your Rosette, don't worry. You still have plenty of time to do it. And I'm going to tell you what the prompt is to go live with today in the group and also going to give you my tips on how to do that. Okay. So if you're joining me live, would you say hey to me just so I know that this is working okay, that the comments are going through? Um, okay. Let me make sure this popped up. Okay. So would you say hey to me? That would be super helpful. Hi, hi, Amanda. Okay, yes, it's going perfect. Okay, so Amanda, congrats. Amanda did her beautiful Facebook Live. How did that feel, Amanda? I know you've already done Facebook Lives before. Whether you're doing your Facebook Live for the first time ever, let us know that so we can cheer you on, number one. Or if you've been a Facebook Live pro, you've been doing Facebook Lives for a while, either way, I think it's super beneficial to do it in the group today because I especially want you to think through, how am I doing my Facebook Live so that it is selling, right? I know that you joined this challenge <laughs> You're like, Anna, I joined the challenge not to do a Facebook Live. But the reason I didn't tell you that is because I think sometimes like we want to sell, we want to make money, right? But then we're hesitant to sometimes take the actions to make that happen, right? And so my goal is to help you actually sell and make money this week. And so that's why that was one of the actions. Congrats, Elisa. Hi, hi, dear. Congrats on doing your Facebook Live. So if you guys are just joining me today in the Heart Centered Entrepreneur Facebook community of 10,000 women. Women, I am inviting you to feature your business and to go live in the group. Before you're like, no way, <laughs> there's no way that I'll do it. I'm gonna give you my best Facebook Live tips right now so you're gonna be equipped to do it. And I'm also gonna give you a really simple prompt that makes it really easy. And it sounds crazy, but this prompt actually sets you up to be able to sell with heart. So if you're committing, if you're like, ah, I'm just now saying this, but I do want to commit to showing up and doing my Facebook Live today, let me know in the comments so that uh, we can hold you to it, right? And if there's anything you're feeling stuck around, feel free to ask me that too. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about the time I did my first Facebook Live. I'm going to tell you that story. It's kind of funny. I'm going to go over the prompt that if you do decide to go live in the group, the prompt that you're going to go live on. I'm going to give you my favorite Facebook Live tips that are going to help you in general. And I love that several of you have said, Anna, I just went live in your Facebook group, but also I went live on my platform too. That gave me the courage to do that. Ideally, if you're like, Anna, I've never gone live, <laughs> don't feel bad about it. But ideally, if you haven't gone live in your own community in a while, that would be ideal too you're going live here in the group. Hi, hi, Janice. But that you're also going live on your own Instagram or your own Facebook, okay? If this is your first time ever going live again, just do it in our community. This is the safe space where you know you're gonna be cheer-led, right? We're gonna cheer for you big time. But if you have been going live before, I really encourage you to do it on your turf too with your people that already know and love you, okay? Again, any time today, right? It can be tonight. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the prompt. I'm gonna give you some of my favorite Facebook Live tips that I think are really gonna help you. I'm gonna do a quick challenge recap and then I'm so excited to tell you about a special offer I'm doing for Sell With Heart this next round. The next round of Sell With Heart starts in January after the holidays, right? But I will really believe that several of you in the challenge with me this week have on your heart that it's time to really own sales and the art of selling in 2021 so that you can hit your higher income goals, right? I hear a lot of women say, yes, I do believe that I can be supported doing what I love. Yes, I do wanna make 5K, 7K, 10K a month, but you're hesitant to sell. And that's exactly what this program is for. It's a six month program. It's basically my mentorship. It's capped at 10 women at a time. And so the next round doesn't start till January, but spaces are already filling on that program because I gave my Invisible Impact ladies the chance to jump, jump in on that. And so if any of you, I'll share a little bit more at the end of this too, but if any of you are interested in Sell With Heart January, now is a great time to hop in because as a part of this challenge, I'm offering a super fun bonus. And that is you get a 90 minute one-on-one -on -one call with me now 
well so that you can get clear on your visibility and everything that you need to ramp up to January sell with heart and start off with a bang selling in January, okay? But feel free to message me if you're interested in that. I'm doing clarity calls starting tomorrow and next week. And so if you're all interested in support with me, my one-on-one practice is full right now. But if you want high touch mentorship support from me in January, that's a great time um, to get your hands on it. So feel free to PM me if you're interested and I can send you the details on that. <laughs> Lacey says, that's a cute scrunchie. Thank you. Lindsay, actually from this group, sent it to me. Wasn't that so, so sweet? Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. I was going to say cute scrunchie, right? And we got to do the scrunchie. Okay, so let's dive into it. Number one. My first Facebook Live. My first Facebook Live, it sounds crazy, actually wasn't in my own Facebook group. My first Facebook Live ever, well, number one, my first live experience was Periscope. Did anyone do Periscope back in the day? That kind of dates me. That was four years ago, but does anyone remember Periscope? Let me know. Periscope was my first live experience. My second live experience was YouTube Live. So that was a thing back in the day, right? And this is a great testimony too, that as we get these skills as entrepreneurs, going live, getting visible, selling, they're kind of timeless skills. And that's why, you know, when women overly obsess about which platform should I show up on or over obsess about the strategy, I just want you to really bring it back to your skill and remember that your skills as an entrepreneur are timeless, right? The skill of selling, the skill of being visible and going on live, right? And so even though Periscope isn't around anymore, even though, um, did any of you guys, the one of the first like workshops I did was on YouTube live. <laughs> It was, it was a situation, but the point being is I took those skills with me, right? So my first Facebook Live experience though was actually in someone else's Facebook group. That's why I'm so excited to invite you to go live in my Facebook group today because I think there's something freeing. You know, you can guys can let me know. Does it feel intimidating to go live in someone else's group or does it feel freeing? For me, it felt freeing because it didn't feel like it was my own community. So it felt like if I messed up, there was like a little more leeway there, right? And just remember too that like we're here to cheer you on, right? no one's going to pick on you. And I am so protective of my ladies and my space. So if anyone ever did say something mean about you, you know they would be out of here ASAP, right? But like that really has never happened. I think I've removed like five people from the group in the last you know, four years. And that was because they were mean to me, <laughs> not because they were mean to any of you. So you don't even need to be afraid of that. But that was my first Facebook, my first experience was going live in someone else's Facebook group. It was for about five minutes. And honestly, everything became so much easier after that. And so that's why I want to really give you that gift today. I'm going live in my group in someone else's group, right? And I want you to go live so that you're practicing, right? Connecting in that way and selling, practicing that leverage visibility, but also because someone actually may buy from you because of that Facebook live, like no pressure. But I think, remember, this is practice, but also is it's the time itself. I think we do this all the time as women where we say like, I need to practice. I need this course to be beta, right? Instead of just going out there. I mean, we don't want to be dishonest, right? You don't want to say, hey, this is my sixth round of the course if it's not. But I think you can just tell women, hey, this is the first time that I'm running this course or this group program and I'm so excited to invite you into it. You don't have to say, it's beta. It's probably going to suck, right? Like that's not very good selling energy. So just remember when you show up, um, okay, Elisa says, I think my background in theater helps a lot when I live stream. Totally, right? Tracy says, I'm moving to YouTube in 2021 rather than Facebook. Brilliant, right? But knowing that that skill, that that Facebook Live skill is going to permeate any platform. Um, so good. Okay. YouTube live is a thing again. Tracy remembers Periscope. I love that, right? Okay. What was I saying? So remembering um, that when you go live today in the group, yes, you're practicing, but also I want you to really affirm for yourself before you hit live in the group today, someone may see this live, either live with me or the replay, and someone may purchase my product or my offer. How do I feel about that, right? Really realizing that that's all it is, right? Is being able to connect at the end of the day. Sales is just about relationship and about connection. And that's all you're doing. And the cool thing about a Facebook Live is you're recording it once. And let's say there's two people on with you, right? You're really connecting with two people at the same time, right? Two people at the same time are hearing your story. And let's say, you know, 40 people watch it on the replay. That's 40 people that are getting to hear your heart and your story, right? So really don't underestimate that. Okay, for those of you that are here with me live, give me a yes if you're committing to going live in the group today. 
I'm going to go over next what it's going to be on, what the prompt is on, but I just really want you to commit to that because if you don't commit, you're not going to do it. And I don't want to hear all the excuses. If your house is a wreck, you're going to go outside in the backyard, right? If you're not prepared, I'm going to prepare you right now. But it's so important that you just commit and that you don't overthink it, right? I think there's two sides of this coin. I am all about preparing and being consistent, but I think also we just need to remember to trust ourselves and trust like the fate of what is put in front of us, right? I hear women say all the time, you probably register for the challenge this week because you want to sell and make money, right? But when the opportunity comes before you to do that, are you going to say yes? Are you going to stand up and say, I don't know it all, but what I do know is I can say yes. I can show up in the moment, right? What's the worst that can happen? I can be a little bit embarrassed, so what, right? (laughs) We're all sisters here and remember that this is a safe and supportive space and that is my highest priority that this is a safe space for you. I love that. Hi, Erin's going to go live. Joanna says yes. Amanda says yes. Janice says yes. I love that. So whether you're joining me live or watching the replay, like I literally just want you to put yes and I want you to commit to it and I want you to own doing that Facebook live today, right? I really feel like this is coming across your feed for a specific reason at a specific time and your job is to say yes right your job is to say yes to the opportunity right in front of you and that is um, to show up show your beautiful face and go live okay so let me go over the prompt if you got if you haven't joined the challenge yet you can register at annafranzen.com slash sell with yourself it's not too late to register and join obviously and i would encourage you even if you haven't done the other pieces yet just dive in today and do the facebook live how i design my challenges is that the days do build on each other, but they're not absolutely necessary that you do them in order. Does that make sense? So I actually think all four days are really powerful and you'll have time this weekend to catch up. But today, skip to day four and go live. Do you hear me? Especially for you guys that love learning. I want to give you permission from an Enneagram 7 to just go for it and do today's Facebook Live. Don't let anything else stand in your way because how I designed the prompt is you can do it just with today's, okay? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get clear on four things before you go live. We want to do a little bit of prep before you go live, but not so much prep that you overthink it right? There's like that fine and delicate balance. I was talking about my visible impact, my visible impact ladies with this this week too. Like we want to write and be intentional with our written posts, but we don't want to overthink it or rework it too many times. Okay. So number one, you're going to come up with a title for your Facebook live before you go live. That's so important, right? And you're not going to do this today, but ideally when you go live with your audience, you're going to tell them in advance so they can actually hop on with you, right? How many of you that already consistently go, go live actually tell your audience or tell your email list, Hey, I'm going live at noon, I would love for you to join me, right? You're probably like, Anna, I don't tell them that because secretly I don't want them to join me live, right? But who wants to commit next time you go live in your audience or with your community, who wants to commit to actually warning people, to actually letting people know? Because I hear people all the time say, you know, Anna, no one ever joins me on Facebook Live. Well, number one, there's the replay. Tons of people watch the replay, right? I know for me, way more people watch my replay than join me live. So remember that. But also I like to ask people, Are you warning people? Are you inviting people? Are you getting people on with you, right? And so if that's something you want to commit to, let me know. But that's so important to do. Okay, so you're going to have your title. You're going to have an opening sentence. I actually want you to draft an opening sentence like on a little three by five card. Um, You're going to have bullet point notes and you're going to have a closing sentence. That's it. Right, so this should take you about 10 minutes to come up with. So the title today, I'm going to, you don't even have to overthink what you're going to go live on because I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, are you ready? One brave thing I've done that I want to share with you today is, and you're going to share it. If you already know what that thing is, feel free to let me know in the comments. But if you did yesterday's post, your timeline story, this is going to be so easy because you can just pick one of the brave things from your timeline story. Do you see how I did that? Do you see how that builds on there? If you didn't do your timeline post, I just want you to think about your life, your business, your health, whatever it is, especially whatever it is you teach, right? So if you are a health coach, I want you to pick a brave decision you made in your own health, right? If you are a relationship coach, I want you to think about some sort of win um, that you had or made in your relationship. So I want you to think about your area of expertise, what you teach, 
And I want you to share some sort of shift or win or brave thing that you did recently or 30 years ago, right, that you want to share. And I want you to share that story. You guys know I teach about doing authority and authenticity content, right? Teaching content and story content. The reason I'm having you do story content today is because story content is so good for selling, right? So good for connecting. Because I think as heart-centered women, we assume like, of course people know that I am a good human and I have integrity and I have heart, right? But we forget that there's cold people online that have never met us before and it's healthy as a part of that journey for them to be able to feel us out. I think so often we're offended that people online are taking a while to know us, but I'm like, that's actually healthy in relationship to not just dive in with someone and give them your, their money before they know them, right? Before they know you. And so your story is you being a little bit vulnerable, but you allowing, especially people have never met you before, like in this group, people in this group have never met you before, right? And so it's your job to expose yourself a little bit in a healthy way so that they can get to know you know your heart, know that you're trustworthy, right? And know who you actually are. This isn't about like faking it. It's about really knowing who you are, right? Um, okay, let me read these beautiful comments. Yeah, Lisa, I love that. Yes, and please cheer each other on. When you see each other go live in the group today, I want you to cheer each other on. Please do that. Hi, hi, Jamie Jo. And Amanda says, I give my group a heads up so they know to set the side of time. I love that. Tracy says, I don't normally announce because I normally do impromptu, which is totally fine. I think impromptu lives are great, but what about the power of what if, I have 16 people on live with me now, right? What if the next time you were live, there were 16 people on live with you? Number one, let's do a fear of success exercise, right? What's the scariest thing when you think about 16 people being on live with you? What's the scariest thing with that, right? If that actually happened and you got a group of people on live with you, what most terrifies you about that, right? Of course, that's exciting. But I think also understanding the fear of success, if you succeeded in getting a lot of people live with you, right? What is your biggest fear around that? Can you tell us, share with that with me in the chat box. And I think getting that out of your system can be really, really helpful, right? But the only reason that you get a decent amount of people on live with you is when you tell them. There was no way that I would be having 15 people on live with me right now if I didn't say, hey, join me live at noon, <laughs> right? If I didn't say, hey, I'm going live in 30 minutes. And so remembering that, you know, I think so often we see like success as a fluke instead of remembering like it's an intention, right? It really is. Okay, Lisa says, when I announce my lives, it helps hold me accountable to do it and not chicken out 100%. That's the other beautiful thing, right? Is if you say here on the live, I'm gonna go live today, we're gonna hold you accountable. If you tell your group, right, your own Facebook group, hey, I'm so excited to share with you this topic tomorrow at noon. You're more likely to do it because you actually committed to it, right? That is totally the other, other beautiful blessing thing. But if you have any fears around that, feel free to drop that too. Okay, so you're gonna get clear on your title. One brave thing I've done that I wanna share with you today is blah, 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 right? You're gonna cre create your opening sentence. This is so powerful because I find like when pe people first get on Facebook Live, they don't always quite know what to say. So here's a template that you can use. Hi, I'm whatever your name is. I'm Anna, right? Today I want you to, sh to today I want to share with you the story about the time that, and then you share your title, so that you can feel inspired to whatever. It's so important in business that we're connecting the dots for people. Why are you sharing that story, right? To inspire them to take their own action, right? To inspire them to take their own shift. So share that up front. So that's the opening. Then you're going to bullet point some notes. I find for me for Facebook Lives, if I over script it out, it actually is not useful and not helpful. If I go on without having any bullet point notes, it's a hot mess, right? You guys have probably been on some of those Facebook Lives with me before. But if I over script it, it also doesn't allow for or that intuitive part of you that just is speaking to your to your besties, right? So you're gonna have your title, you're gonna have your opening sentence, you're gonna have your bullet point notes. This is the most important part that you script up before you go live, okay, my loves? Your closing sentence so that you don't hop off live without talking about your paid thing. You don't hop off live without selling. You don't hop off live without connecting the dots, right? Without being able to say, hey, if this story resonated with you, I would love to get to know you further, right? Follow me on Instagram. Join my Facebook group. Sign up for a clarity call, right? Being able to say that with certainty. So here's what I said. Here's the actual script. Thanks for listening to my story. One small action I challenge you to take today 
as a first step is to blank, right? So give them some sort of step. Now that you've shared your story, what's an action step, something simple that if they started doing it, it would change their life and mind and whatever it is right now. What's a small step? And you guys go micro with this, right? Don't go huge because remember, this is someone that's just met you and so you're building trust. So if you're a health coach and you tell them to, to drink more water today and they drink more water and they start feeling better, they're gonna start trusting you more right? I think so often because of our own insecurity, we forget to like stand in our power and just give people really tiny directives. But today when you do your Facebook live, I really want you to just give a really tiny, tiny directive, right? Um, And then you can say, leave a comment below this video if you want to commit to trying this action this week. And if you want to connect with me further, follow me on blank or book a call right here. Yes, I actually want you to say that in your Facebook live. How many Facebook Lives have I watched where people have not said, and it's not your fault, right? Have not said how to continue working and partnering with you if they're interested, right? And that's your job, right? You're like, Anna, people aren't booking calls with me. People aren't, but how many times have you really looked your audience in the eye and said, I would love to work with you. I would love to help you shift. If you need breakthrough in this area, message me, let's connect. And I want you to say that with such certainty and such sincerity, okay? So those are the four areas. Hi, hi, Elizabeth. Amanda says, one thing about going live as opposed to pre-recorded is I can be candid and not overthink. Yeah, which is terrifying, but also such a blessing. And here's the thing. Can you, maybe your first Facebook Live is gonna be a hot mess. Can you just accept that? Like, so what? Is it, it's really not that big of a deal. What's at stake? People that need your help. So get over yourself, go live and help people, right? Your story is going to help someone. Okay, Lacey says, thank you for sharing, by the way. My underlying fear to everything I do is probably I don't have as much experience as I like and I'm afraid to get a client and let them down from the inexperience. Lacey, thank you so much for sharing this. And this is so common, right? Okay, Anna, what if I hop on Facebook Live like you say, right? What, (laughs) Elizabeth, I love that gift. I'm a sucker for gifts. (laughs) What if I hop on Facebook Live like you say? What if I offer my clarity calls? What if someone actually books a clarity call shoot, (laughs) I'm terrified of sales calls. What if someone actually signs on to work with me, right? What if they're not happy as a client? What if they're disappointed, right? Okay, Anna, what if I do all that you say that that I should do? What if I fully book out my practice and what if I don't like it? What if I'm overwhelmed, right? What if I don't like my life? For me, I had a lot of fears around being fully booked. I was afraid I was gonna be a bad mom. (laughs) And so really, this is a super important exercise, right? There's the fear of failure, but there's also the fear of success, right? If I'm successful, right? And if you just wanna be vulnerable with me for a minute, if I made six figures in my business next year, right? If I brought in, $100,000 in my business next year, what am I most afraid of? What will go wrong next, right? What am I terrified of? If you don't know that, you've got to get clear on what that is for you because that's one of the biggest blocks that holds you back from selling, right? And I know that feels like a few steps down the road, but it sounds crazy, but if you're afraid of disappointing your clients once they pay you money, that's going to keep you from going live right now because subconsciously you know, if I go live, if I offer my call, if I hop on sales calls, at the end of the day, you know your power, you know your strength, and you know that people are going to sign on with you, right? So it's almost like getting down to those root fears is so helpful and so, so important. Okay, thank you for sharing that, Lacey. Um, okay, so today you guys are going to draft, again, just set a timer and do 10 minutes of Facebook Live prep and then just go live. Please do not overthink it. You're gonna have your title, one brief thing I've done that I want to share with you today is blank. And if you feel like, I haven't really done that many things brave, stop overthinking it. Just share something tiny. I don't care how tiny it is. It's gonna be inspiring to someone, right? We discredit our success because we feel like we haven't fully arrived yet. But really remember, your version of success is what someone is craving and needing, right? I hear women say all the time, like, you know, Anna, I haven't gotten to like the ultimate success. Number one, we're always on a journey. 
And I feel like when we actually do own those small pieces of success, that's how, what helps us get more, right? Okay, so you're gonna do your title, your opening, your bullet point, your closing. That's all you need to go live and you're gonna go live for five minutes today. And if for some reason you forget any of these parts when you go live because like the stress, just pop on after and um, add it in. If you forget to talk about your paid offer, just add a comment after and talk about it, okay? Don't overthink it, do not delete it, just do it, okay? Now I have some tips for you and feel free, drop any questions for me too about selling in general, but, all, but specifically around Facebook Live because that's what you're gonna be doing today. If you have any questions or any fears or any concerns about going live in the group for five minutes today, that's all today, let me know your questions. Let me know what's holding you back from that. No matter how small or silly it seems, I wanna answer your question. Um, and then I'm gonna do um, some tips for you. Okay, let me scroll to them. Okay, let me see. And thank you guys, by the way, if you already went live, so proud of you. Okay, so here's, I just have three main tips. I have some tips on camera conference in general that I think will be really helpful for you. So when you think about camera confidence, my number one recommendation, it, again, if you've never gone live before, don't worry about all this, just go live, right? But if you have time to think about it, I really would encourage you to really watch your lighting. If there's one thing that makes the biggest difference in video, it's lighting. And so if you don't have a great place in your house, I just thought this is just like a little cubby, <laughs> right? If you don't have a great place in your house, go outside, bring your cell phone outside with you and go live outside, right? So use good lighting. Number two is, is um, having that little script that I talked to you about. And number three is committing to going live more than once, right? For now, I just want you to go live in the group, but I don't want you to take however that goes and make it seem truth. I see this all the time with women that hop on sales calls. If they're in a season of their business where they're like trying to hit five, seven, 10 K months, they're hopping on sales calls, right? And it can be so easy to hop on one sales call and then let that dictate how we feel about sales calls through eternity. Instead of realizing my sample size isn't very big. So if you haven't done a lot of Facebook Lives lately, don't do one Facebook Live and let it mean anything. Have a bigger sample size. And so what you may wanna do is decide, I'm gonna go live every week for the next month and see how it goes, see how my audience reacts to that, right? See what changes I can make to it. And I think that there's power in that because it puts a little less pressure on one particular thing, one sales call, one Facebook Live, right? And so if you can, do you wanna commit to, number one, let me know what the main platform it is that you're showing up right on right now. Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Is it your Facebook group? Let me know and really own what that main platform is that you are getting visible on. You have heard me talk about this before, the power of showing up on one space for six weeks visibility wise in your business. But I want to add a new layer to it today in this conversation. And that's with sales, right? It's important for you in order to see traction, to get visible in one place for six weeks. It also is powerful for you to do that for your audience so that when you sell, you are building trust, <laughs> right? That you are not flip-flopping all over the place. And so get really clear on wherever it is and then ask yourself, if I'm already showing up with written content, if I'm already writing, do I wanna add that layer of video? Do I wanna connect with my audience in that way, right? Whether it's on Instagram Live or um, on Facebook Live, really committing to a weekly rhythm of doing it. It doesn't have to be forever, but maybe you decide again for the next four weeks that you wanna do that, right? Every Tuesday at noon, PST or whatever it is, getting so clear on that, having that rhythm, creating that consistency for your audience. And here's the thing too, it's gonna be so much easier to sell when you're showing up consistently because you feel like you have that value building, right? Okay, Lacey says, yes, and feel free to drop links. Links are 100% allowed. So Lacey says um, on her Instagram, personality on purpose, feel free to drop your link for that. Kelly says my Facebook group. Kelly, feel free to drop your link. Jamie's Instagram, right? That's really your home where people are gonna show up to connect with you. And so do you wanna add live video as an element of that? I think it can be so powerful, especially um, if you don't have a podcast. I think regular live video can kind of be the same thing and that you're connecting every week and building relationship building that value okay so those are some of the tips 
Next, I wanna talk about when you do live video, getting engagement, right? I think that there's a special element to live video that there isn't in a written post or in a podcast that you really have to get good at playing with, right? And again, if you've never done Facebook Live before, like just plug your ears and don't even worry about this, just go live. But if you've been going live for a while, give me a yes. If you've gone live before, you're not a new to going live on Facebook and you're ready to up your Facebook Live game so that it converts better into sales, give me a yes. Like I want you to own it. I want you to own. I'm not a newbie. I'm ready to step up my game. I'm ready to go to the next level, right? One of the the beautiful thing about a Facebook Live is that if you are able to be present, right, it can be so much more engaging. You're able to connect in real time. And so you like I teach on your written post, it's so important that you're actually asking for engagement. Notice, notice that I scripted for you um, when I scripted your closing sentence. I literally said, hey, here's an action I want you to take. Who's going to commit to that? In fact, that's what I've been doing right here in this Facebook Live, right? I've said, okay, who's going to, I know I'm challenging you to go live today. Who's going to commit to it? I did that for two reasons. Number one, I just love chatting with you. <laughs> Number two, when you get someone to commit to something, they're actually more likely to do it, right? And the beautiful thing about, that's why I love you guys coaching. And when you're on a call like this, you're actually able to coach a little bit, right? You're not just teaching, which I, I love a podcast. I have a podcast. I think podcasts are beautiful, right? But the beautiful thing, here's the edge of a Facebook Live or an Instagram Live or whatever live that you don't get in a podcast. And that's, you can actually, you can actually get people to take action right? And so are you taking advantage of that? Are you challenging people? Are you being honest? And are you asking people to commit to things? Because by the way, for those of you that said, yes, I'm going to go live, you know that I'm going to be back in the comments if I don't see you live today. I'm going to be like, awesome, did you go live, right? And it's beautiful to be able to do that. And so allow people the opportunity to commit to things. And I think so often I see this in sales all the time too on sales calls, right? Because we've been taught that sales calls need to look a certain way and we need to have a perfect script. I actually do have like an outline that I share with my clients for sales calls, like a light script. But ideally, you don't even need a script on a sales call once you get the breakdown and once you get the ethos. And once you do what I teach, which is coach, listen, massively listen on your sales calls and lead, right? The goal is that eventually you don't need the script. You can lose the script. Okay, I don't even remember where I was going with that. What was I talking about? Sales, sales. <laughs> oh, so I think on in sales calls, right, people forget to be themselves. Same thing with Facebook Live, right? How are you when you're with an actual client? When someone has paid you money in a group, one-on-one, -on -one, how are you, right? My guess is you challenge them. My guess is you're honest. Do you bring that part of you to Facebook Lives? Do you bring that part of you to sales calls, right? In a sales call, sometimes I'll call people out. Sometimes I'll say, you know, I don't know if I agree with that. What do you think about this, right? I'm honest, why? Because I wanna be me in the sales call because if they're okay with who I am in the sales call, they're gonna love who I am as a coach because it's the same thing, right? Same thing with your Facebook Live. Are you willing to challenge people? Are you willing to be honest? Are you willing to call people out and ask them to commit to things, right? especially if that mirrors who you are in real life. And this is another important conversation. Don't get me started on this, but I think so often we see how people show up on Facebook Live and we feel like we have to do exactly what they're doing, right? Instead of really asking yourself, what do, who am I and how do I wanna show up on Facebook Live, right? Maybe it's not like I do, right? Maybe it's different. I'm an extrovert, right? If you're an introvert, you may not wave your hand so much. I've definitely had someone on Facebook Live before be like, Anna, you wave your hands too much. Well, you know what? If that irritates you, don't become a client of mine because I wave my hands in my client calls too. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of helpful. It's helpful. I think we're so afraid of being rejected in our sales calls on our Facebook Lives, but honestly, I'd rather be rejected there than like surprise someone with who I am behind the scenes, right? Like let's be less concerned about offending people that we don't know online and more concerned about showing up with an integrity in our cold audience and in that space so that our clients are delighted. Like I have such delighted clients who return time and time again and refer me like wild because like who I am is like what you see is what you get, right? And so I think really if you are afraid of um, who like people being offended or how you're showing up online, just try to be more concerned about who you are and like the integrity of that with your paid stuff, right? Okay, sorry, sidetrack. 
side track. Okay, let me read your beautiful comments. Um, and, and asking yourself, right? Like, you know, some people when they start a Facebook Live, you know, you've probably seen people do this. They play music, they start to dance, right? If that's you, great. If you're not super into dancing, don't start it that way, right? Same thing you hear me talk about swearing, right? I'm not a huge swearer, though I do swear a little bit. So I try to have that be in my public group too, right? If you are a huge swearer, swear on your Facebook Lives and in your free content so that people know what to expect from you and the right people are going to love that. If you're not a huge swearer, you're not going to want to do that, right? And so just give yourself permission to dance on your Facebook Lives if you're a dancer and not dance if you're not a dancer, right? Does that make sense? And this is something that you'll feel over time. Right. And so if you're not in a regular, consistent rhythm of doing lives, give yourself like five or six to figure it out. Right. Give yourself some time. OK. Jamie Joe says I have is Instagram live the same thing as IGTV. It's not. So Instagram live is going live like this. After you do an Instagram live, unless they've changed it, you can save your Instagram live to IGTV. You can also just upload a regular video to IGTV. I'm a huge fan of regular videos too, but I think there's something powerful and magical about Facebook Live, again, where you're able to coach people in real time and get people to do stuff that they never would do if they weren't live with you. Okay, beautiful. Oh, yay. Thank you, Joanna, for answering that too. Okay, Amanda says, funny story. Someone commented in my lives. <laughs> she felt like I had the pets as a distraction. I wanted to get defensive and say, this is authentic me. I'd much rather show and see I can have things go on in my life, but I can sit down and work with no excuses. Exactly. If they're offended by a pet walking by in your Facebook Live, they probably shouldn't work with you because probably your pet's going to walk by. You guys probably in my Facebook Live have seen like one of my kids pop in, right? For the most part, for my client calls, I have someone watch my kids, but before one of my kids have popped in, you know what I mean? So I love that point so much. Just do you. Yes, exactly, Elisa. Whoops, sorry, I almost lost you guys. Okay, feel free to drop any questions you have for me around going live on Instagram or Facebook or whatever platform, right? And also feel free, use this as a space to clear any blocks, right? Give yourself a second, close your eyes and ask yourself, are there any blocks when it comes to me consistently showing up on live video? Maybe it's something practical like getting a babysitter, right? Do I have any fears? Do I have any resistance? Do I have any hesitation to that? Ask yourself and feel free to pop it in the comments. If anything comes up for you, this is a judgment-free space. Um, so I would love to just help clear that for you and help look at it because maybe it is a legit thing, but maybe it's just a fear, right? Okay, next let's talk about why live video is so effective for selling. You guys know that I believe about the power of written content and establishing that. But once you have written content in your business, live video is so powerful. Again, because so much of live video is story and story really sells and connects in a beautiful way. And then also is that connection, right? So you're re really able to connect in an engaging way. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The other cool thing, so you guys know that yesterday I had you do your timeline story and today you're basically sharing a piece of that. Remember that, I think a lot of people think that, you know, what would I do when I go on Facebook Live, right? Think about some of the pieces of content that you wrote that were really powerful, that people responded well to. That's what you can go live on Facebook about, right? Really thinking through, I think people over complicate content instead of just letting their Facebook Live go with whatever content they created, right? If you wrote a post for your social media this week, go live on that same topic and go more in depth and tell a story or tell a different spin or go deeper on one part of it, right? Um, okay, let me talk briefly about, we're gonna do challenge recap. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about Sell With Heart Offer, but if you guys have any other blocks questions, hesitations with going live today in the Facebook group for five minutes, sharing and owning your brave thing, please tell me that and I'm happy to answer. Oh, good. Elisa put one too. Do you have a strategy when strange men join your Instagram live and make comments? My strategy is just to ignore people, right? They're in therapy. There's this like phrase of like, don't argue with crazy. If someone's being rude or inappropriate, like you just don't argue with it. You just let it be, right? The good thing is when you go live in this group, there are no strange men. So no one's going to be saying anything. But yes, I've definitely had that happen on Instagram live where there's weird men making weird comments. Why is, why is that? Who else has had that happen before? It's just, I think it's like almost like a rite of passage. That that was especially rampant with Periscope. So much of that with Periscope. But I think that's just where you like, 
you leave it be. You just let it be what it is, right? Um, I don't know if anyone else has any insight on that for Elisa, feel free to drop it. But you can, um, what was I going to say? I don't know particularly how to block it. Such a good question though. Okay, yes, keep dropping any questions you have about going live, any blocks, any resistance, any excitement. I want to hear it. And selfishly, I'm just excited to hang out with you guys the rest of the day and watch your Facebook lives. Okay, so... Challenge recap, right? Day one, it was phone declutter. Declutter your phone if you haven't already. Day two is money-making actions, right? Days three and four were actually taking the money-making actions with me, doing a timeline post and hopping on Facebook Live. If you get stuck on any of those, your job is to do a post in the group, a fresh post, and say, hey, Anna, I have a question and I'm gonna be there to help you. I wanna help you get through this whole challenge this week, but I can only do that if you raise your hand if you get stuck, right? So raise your hand and let me know if you get stuck anywhere and I'm gonna be here all through the rest of the weekend and so you have plenty of time to catch up on the challenge, but that doesn't mean that you can't go live today. I want you to hop on Facebook Live today, okay? So January Sell with Heart, let me tell you a little bit about that. I'm so, so excited. So it's a six month mentorship program that I lead. It really feels like one-on-one -on -one support. So I call it my mentorship because I know you, I know your business. I'm working to help you meet your big income goals, but you are walking alongside other sisters that are selling too. So it's also a mastermind, right? You also get that support. It's capped at 10 women. We start January 4th because I really believe that that's such a beautiful time to like show up and sell in your business. There's nothing wrong with selling over the holidays. I think it's great, but I don't know about you, but I'm taking a little bit of a step back over the holidays. And so what I'm doing though, if you're interested in working with me starting in January, what you get now as a part of this challenge as a bonus is worth $7.97. And that's a 90 minute one-on-one -on -one intensive with me where we're gonna look at what do you need to do for the next six weeks? Is it crazy? We're six weeks till the end of the year. Did you know that? Is that crazy? It's six weeks till 2021. But I want to get with you now and do a 90 minute intensive so that you're really clear on for the next six weeks, how to show up with your visibility, how to really ramp up. That way in January, you're ready to show up and sell, right? When the program starts, that's when I want you to start increasing your cash flow, increasing your client load. I don't want the momentum to start then. I want the momentum to start now, right? Those of you guys that are health coaches know that, right? So often people are like, New Year's resolution, right? But your choices now on how to be visible in your business are 100% gonna dictate your January sales. And I want your January 21, 20, 2021 sales to like blow through the roof. I want them to be crazy. And that's gonna happen. I am kind of a good coach, but I'm not so good that I can like do miracles, right? In order for me to blow up your January sales, I need you to be intentional about how you spend the next six weeks with your visibility. And so if you decide you're in for January through July, through June, it's a six month program with me. If you decide you're in with that, I want to do a one-on-one -on -one intensive with you right now for the next three people that join Sell With Heart so that you can get a good game plan so that if you're held back on anything with sales, like, okay, what am I actually offering? Are my prices right? Is my messaging right? I don't know if I have the right audience, right? Maybe you have money mindset blocks, but we can process through that now. That way over the next six weeks, you can really focus on that in the background as you're eating turkey with your family. Anyone else excited for Christmas? I love Thanksgiving, but I am like all ready for Christmas. I think it's just this year, right? But anyway, we do the session now and then that way January 4 when we start, you'll be set to go in sales and you can have a really strong January. That's my goal is that month one in the program, you really start out because, okay, so January sell with heart, six months of support, 10 women. We have three group calls a month private Facebook group, the first 12 weeks are all intensive sales skills. We talk about your offer. We talk about sales calls. We talk about all the things, but here's the thing you know about me from this challenge. I don't just want you to learn from me about sales. In real time in the program, you're going to be actually selling in a heart-centered way. That way you can give me feedback and you can say, Anna, you know, I'm having trouble getting people on sales calls in the first place. Or Anna, I booked a ton of sales calls. None of them converted, right? Or they said yes on the phone, but they didn't show up afterwards. Whatever it is personally for your business, we're going to troubleshoot for you because I don't just want you to have good, beautiful money months in the six months we work together, but I really want you to learn a rinse and repeat system for simple sales in your business. And if you are 
not selling in a way that's simple, you've got to come work with me <laughs> because the power of making more money in less time is simplifying sales, right? So first 12 weeks of the program, first three months, we talk all about practical sales strategy. And then the last 12 weeks of the program, we're still selling, but we double down on money mindset. Because once you're bringing in money, once you're bringing in clients, it's all about your money mindset and really increasing your capacity to receive money in your heart, right? And so that's the six months together, 10 women only, Already a few women have taken spots for January. So if you're all interested, your next step is to book a clarity call with me. You can just message me. Uh, I'll drop the link here too, but save your spot on a clarity call because I'm only doing three 90 minute intensive bonuses for the program. So if you're interested in January sell with heart, make sure that you message me, you book a call, and then the first three, I'll do the bonuses in order of who books a call. Um, with me, I have space to chat tomorrow on Friday and then next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and what I would love for you to is get some clarity, get some direction so you can get momentum, but you can also take space over the holidays, right? So you can take a little bit of a breather, but that you can set up strategically when we start on January 4, right? January 4 is not the time to strategize for 2021, right? Right now is the time to strategize for your sales, for your money goals for 2021. I wanna do that with you now. That way you don't have to worry about it over the holidays, right? Does that make sense? And whether or not you join Sell With Heart next year, just hear this memo loud and clear. Now is the time to plan the next six weeks of your visibility so that you can have a strong 2021. Like that's my secret I wanna depart from you, depart with you, right? We do start off the program, we have our calls, but we have two bigger quarterly calls, one in January in the program and one in January, February, March, April. It's longer session than we do visioning and planning. And I am all about visioning and planning in, in January. I think it's powerful, but I don't want you to be relying on sales in January if you're not willing to get intentional about your visibility right now. Does that make sense? Who's going to put time on their calendar to get intentional about their visibility? So, so important. Okay. Anything else? So let me know. Tell me what questions you guys have specifically around Sell With Heart 2. I've run this program two times so far. I also have a beautiful PDF that talks about past client stories. So I asked alumni to share their story. I also have two of the alumni were on the podcast, Ruth Ann and Caitlin and they got amazing results in this program. And so I'll pop the links to their stories in the podcast, but I have a PDF. And so when you book a call or even before you book a call, I'm happy to share the PDF with you. And it basically shares everything that we cover in the program and also has alumni stories. But this is the first time that I'm really offering the program this publicly. I've done it two rounds so far. Um, and so if this is the first time you're hearing about it, feel free to like just pick my brain with all the questions on what it includes. But it's six months of mentorship support with me, capped at 10 women, because even though it's a group, you really truly will feel like a one-on-one -on -one client because I believe at the end of the day, sales strategy that lasts is so personalized, right? It really has to be so personal. Okay, Erin says, how would it work for an MLM company? So I have had clients in Sell With Heart that have had MLMs too, but I'll be honest with you, it is mostly for women that have um, are willing to sell a high ticket one-on-one -on -one or group offer on their own. And so you may have MLM as a part of your brand, but you're also willing to have either a done for you. So thank you for asking this. This is who it's for, right? If you have a done for you service, like you're a website designer, you're a social media manager, you are um, a podcast manager, right? Or you do some sort of consulting or teaching service one-on-one, -on -one, or you do um, like a course or a group offer, right? That's who it's best for. You can have an MLM on the side, but I would say it is not best for someone that is just doing MLM because my expertise and how I know to get you to five, 10, 15K months is through group and course and one-on-one -on -one offers. You don't need to come into the program knowing what it is. The, what we do during num week number one on the program is talking about your offer because I find that even women coming in, having clients and having made sales, in their business often need to rework and repackage their offers so that they're actually in alignment with each other, right? You may have offers, but are your offers stacked together in a way that really makes sense for your business, right? So that um, you're encouraging people to return to you and like pricing it and planning it strategically, right? So week one in the program, we either create a brand new offer for you if you're like, ah, 
ah, like I'm, I need a new offer in my business or I need to, you know, massively rework my offer. That's what we do week one is we get really clear on your package, especially for my women that are done for you providers. Often they've done things on retainer, but they've never really had like official packages that they feel confident about that are priced appropriately. Right. And I know there's so many questions when it comes to pricing, but I work with you individually. So in sell with heart, I have workbooks for you to complete. And then I personally review your workbooks, right? So as you create your offer, guess who's looking over your offer, right? If you have been in a group program before, you probably haven't been in a group program like one of mine, right? If you talk to any of my group program clients, you know that I'm right there and I'm high touch and I'm reviewing all of your work because that's now how I know how to get you good results, right? So week one in the program, we're really looking at your offer. We're creating a new offer for you or if you have existing offers, we're tweaking it in two ways. There's two parts of your offer. Well, there's seven parts, but really there's two main parts. There's the marketing. How are you communicating your offer? How are you messaging your offer? And then there's the back end of how are you deliver delivering your offer, right? Are you delivering it as a one-on-one -on -one service? Are you delivering it as a group, as a more like a course, right? What's my framework? Even if it's a one-on-one -on -one program, what is the process that I take my people through to get change, right? So even if you have an existing offer, we're gonna assess it and review it to make sure it feels really good because here's the secret in order to get you to sell for six months in your business and feel really good about it we need you to first feel in full alignment with your offer right we need you to feel so excited about your offer and so that's why i start with that um and we relook at it and refresh it. And I hear so many women say that that some of the most transformative part of the program is just being able to look at their offer with fresh eyes and get excited about it, right? Because I think sometimes we forget that like sales starts with us, right? the excitement starts with us. And so it's time to get reignited, re-passionate. And if there's something where you're not feeling excited about your offer, I wanna talk about that with you, right? Do we need to switch up the formatting? Do we need to switch up what's included? Do we need to change your niche altogether? I've had women enter the program having a strong existing business, but really shift massively in their messaging and their marketing, right? A lot of times people will think, what's wrong with me? And it may not be what's wrong with you. You just may need to shift how you're messaging and the offer, right? Okay, and Erin, let me know if I answered your question or if you have anything more on that. But I would say it's totally fine if there's like, if you have an MLM on the side, like if you have a personal brand and part of your brand is the MLM, but I would say it's not the best fit if you're only doing an MLM, just so that I can serve you the best. So examples are designers, coaches, consultants, um, where you are willing to have a high ticket offer. So I define high ticket as having at least one offer in your business that's over a thousand dollars, right? You can have other offers too. I love having, you know, I have offers in my business, as you guys know, my templates are 50 bucks, right? Um, and what was I gonna say? I have, you know, more like intro group offers, but I really find for where you're at, but most of the women in this program are working to hit six figures consistently in their business. And I find it's the easiest to get there without burning out, without having, if you don't have a giant audience yet, that's okay. You can definitely get to six figures, right? But the easiest way to do that is making sure that you're charging enough for the offer. And I know that it feels like, <gasps> you know, can someone really pay me a thousand dollars or something? Like I know that all the mindset stuff comes up around it, but know that like that's when I'm there to support you on for six months. And if you have any questions too, just book that clarity call and I'll be really honest with you on if it's a fit um, and know that I have no attachment. I hear women say all the time, like, Anna, I don't wanna book a clarity call with you because I wanna honor your time. I don't wanna waste your time and I'm not sure if I can afford it or I'm not sure, blah, blah, blah. Just book the call anyway. If you're, if you're honestly interested, it does not offend me at all if you end up it not being a good fit. Ultimately, I want our clarity call. The goal of my clarity call with you guys is to get massive clarity and women leave my clarity call, you guys, even when they don't decide to do the program, having massive clarity in their money blocks with their client work. I've had people do free calls and then come back and say, Anna, I just signed you know, a ton of clients even from your free call. That's my goal is that that call would be of service to you and of course that I can answer any questions. But if I think that sell with heart, can work for you and is a fit for your business, you better believe, girl, I'm gonna tell you about it, right? I do believe in the power of this program. 
Okay, Elisa says, do you know when the coaching call times will be? I love that question. So tentatively, they're for 10 a.m. PST, but since it's a small group of women, um, if there's someone international or it doesn't work, we usually vote and shift the calls. So the calls will work for your time zone. I make sure that it does. Um, so thank you for asking that. But the default time I kind of have my things at is 10 a.m. PST. Okay, yes, I, yes, did. Thank you. I have an MLM up debating about where I'm taking it. So thank you for the info. And Erin, feel free to sign up for a clarity call. Like I do not open, always open up my calendar for free calls, but like this next week is the week that I'm doing that, right? Where I clear space to connect with you. And honestly, can I tell you the truth? I just love it. I love connecting with you. I love hearing about your business. I love hearing your vision and I am not attached to what happens at the end of the call. And so if you're all interested in working with me, now is a great time because my programs do fill up fast, right? There's only room for 10 women because I know that's the amount with certainty that I can serve and show up well. Um, so if you're interested, just book a call, let's connect, and I can answer any questions for you there about the program. And then either way, you are gonna have massive clarity about your business and about 2021 moving forward, no matter what you decide about Sell With Heart, okay, my loves? Okay, drop any more questions you have for me about Sell With Heart. I'm so, so so excited for this round. There's already a few women that have joined. I just sent them their welcome emails and something beautiful thing happens too, right? When you join and when you commit to, I get that it's scary, not just the financial investment of working with a coach for six months, but also you know that if you sign up for Sell With Heart, I'm gonna have you sell in your business for six months. <laughs> so I know it's like, I kind of want to, but also am I ready for that? Because like we were talking about earlier in this call, that fear of success. I do want to fully book out my practice, but what if I do? And then what if my clients aren't happy with me? Or what if I'm more busy than I wanted? Or know that I'm there to help you solve that as you go, right? I'm there to talk to you about if you, you know, as you are, the beautiful thing is with my background, I love helping women in the marketing and helping them get fully booked, but I also love helping them on the back end once they're fully booked, right? And many of my clients right now are fully booked in their business, are successful, but they're working on higher level issues, right? They're working on hiring team members to, you know, so that they can balance out the low. They're working on more leveraged offers like group programs and launching, right? And so know that I'm there, yes, to get you fully booked, but on the other end of it, can you trust yourself that you can, that you can handle success, right? And that's the thing, it's a lot of self-trust, right? Really believing, I don't know what's on the other side of making six figures. I don't know what's on the other side of selling up my practice, but I trust, like, can you say this? I trust that that successful version of me is gonna figure it out, right? I was just telling this to someone on the, the other day. So often, right, we have these fears that are completely unfounded. Like for me at the start of my business, you know, when I started selling and making money, I was like, oh, I feel like I'm scamming people, you know? And one of my friends was like, well, are you actually scamming people? And I was like, no, but I had that fear. And so I just think like, look at your track record. Are you someone that once someone pays you money in your business, once someone signs on for you as a client, do you show up for them? If the answer is no, <laughs> I don't want to help you, right? But my guess is the answer is yes. Like once someone becomes a client, you actually care about them. You care about the results. You want to serve them, right? And you know, just trust that part of yourself that you're going to figure it out, right? If you do make mistakes, you're going to figure it out, right? You're going to, you're going to um, figure it out as you go. Okay, my loves. Yay, Brandon says, I'm so excited for Sell With Heart. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, so would someone pop the link in for me? It's anafrance.com slash clarity. If you want to hop on a clarity call with me and I will talk with you soon. And then also let me know, feel free to message me if you want the PDF. So I have a program PDF where I talk about all the programs and the details. Again, the cliff notes is we start January 4. Save your seat now for sure. Cause you get that intensive, that 90 minute intensive with me, three calls a month, six months total sales, money mindset, and really working to fully book your business. Even if you're working on part-time hours, right? Even if you have crazy little kids like I do, right? Um, and so book that clarity call and tell me what other, I have about five more minutes. So let me know what other questions you guys have about sell with heart. Um, and oh, my foot's asleep. Did you guys see my Instagram post the other day? I had the worst habit of sitting on my feet, you guys. Does anyone else do that? Thank you for posting that. Yes, there's the call. So feel free to um, hop on a clarity call with me or message me on 
Facebook. If you have like any just quick questions, you're like, I don't think I'm quite ready for a clarity call, but I do just want to ask Anna this one question. Just voice memo me um, on Facebook Messenger and we can chat around it. And again, I love when I hear women say like, Anna, I want to honor your time. I don't want to bug you. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't bug me. You don't irritate me and it doesn't offend me at the end of a call if you decide not to go for it, right? So give yourself permission to book that call. If you feel like, just trust your heart, trust that nudge, right? Um, okay, so I think that was the main details. Okay, Aaron says, I have to head back to work now, but I'm excited to see. And thank you for your excited spirit. <laughs> Lacey says she always sits on her feet at the office. Why do we do that? I don't know. I always sit on my feet and my feet fall massively asleep. Okay, so that's the cell with heart details, but... Now what you're going to do, besides messaging me, if you're interested in Sell With Heart, do it today. I'm going to be telling my big list about Sell With Heart spaces on Monday. So basically just for the challenge members, I'm opening up Sell With Heart spaces and this bonus. Um, and it's probably not going to last. <laughs> so again, for the next three women, you get that 90-minute call, 797. Message me because on Monday is when I'm e emailing my big list about it because I would love, I love giving women the gift of having the clarity now and not having to worry about it over the holidays so that you know you have that support to show up in your business and sell starting in January, but you don't have to stress over it. And you know, so often I hear women say, Anna, I'm spending time online, but I don't know if what I'm doing are the right actions to build traction, you're not going to have that problem anymore after we hop on a 90 minute call, right? You'll know exactly those first, just those tiny actions, right? To take over the next six weeks to build up for that. About sell with heart, if I've only had a few clients, am I not ready? No, 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 my love. <laughs> if you are open to taking on clients, whether you have had a lot of clients in your business already and you're working to get to the next level or whether you're still working early on in your business to sign clients, Here's the thing, as long as you are ready to sign clients, I'm gonna help you do it, right? If you're in a season of your business where you're like, I don't know if I wanna make money right now, I don't know if I want it to, if you're willing to take on the clients, I wanna help you get them, right? Even if you feel like you are like at the start of your business. And here's the other thing, I just gotta drop a truth bomb for a second, can I do this? The other thing is I hear women say all the time to me, Anna, I'm a newbie. But when I talk to them about it, they have coached several clients or they have done the work or they have been visible for a while, right? And Lacey, I have seen your Instagram, you are more than ready, right? And so I think there's this thing too where we tell ourselves I don't know if I'm ready to sell <laughs> right like I don't know if I'm ready to like am I you know I'm still a newbie I'm gonna give you a hard time but several of you guys in this challenge right still may call yourself a newbie you're not a newbie anymore right and I just want you to own it you guys know this is one of my favorite things to have you guys own but I want you to own in the chat box right now if you're not a newbie anymore you're not a newbie. You already know a thing or two about visibility. When you hop on webinars, you kind of already know what they're gonna say, right? You kind of know the online marketing basics. You don't need basics anymore, right? You're ready to sell. You're ready to learn in process as you have a fully booked load of clients, right? So I want you to really honor that and honor yourself below whether you join Sell With Heart or not. Like I just want you to own, I'm not a newbie. And I get that that's scary because it's like, well, I'm not a newbie, but I haven't gotten all the results I want to in my business, right? That's the same thing with sharing your timeline story yesterday's prompt, right? And I don't want to share my timeline story because it's not evolved enough or I haven't really killed it in my business or in whatever area. I want you to stop saying that, right? Because that's prohibiting you, prohibiting from really owning what you've owned, what you've done and accomplished, right? So owning that, you know, maybe I'm not gonna quite make you say I'm an expert. Maybe I may have you say that and sell with heart. <laughs> but for now, at least stop saying you're a newbie. I'm not a newbie anymore, right? Really, like literally put that in the comments below. I don't care if you're watching the replay, I'm watching you, right? If you're here with me live, own, I'm not a newbie, right? I'm not a newbie. I don't have time anymore for random ASS webinars, right? Like really owning. And that's the thing is I hear women all the time, like taking course after course after course. It's time to get into high touch mentorship. It's time to get one-on-one -on -one support, right? It's time to get high level support so that you can see results. You're not going to see results from DIY courses, right? You are going to see results if someone knows you can call out your BS and can push you to the next level. And it's my favorite thing to do 
with heart, okay? Lovingly kick your booty. So if you're looking for someone to lovingly kick your booty in 2021, like I'm your girl, right? Heart-centered, money, all the things. Okay, <laughs> okay, I love that you guys are owning this. Okay, and if you guys have any questions about Timeline Story, I know that that was a, I, that was a big ask for a challenge, right? But if you actually follow through and do it, this is gonna be such a good asset for your business. That's why I had you do it even though it's a free challenge, okay? Again, see if you can treat this challenge like a paid program, right? See if you can really treat it as, let's pretend I paid 500 bucks for the sales challenge. Do all four of the prompts as if you paid for them and I promise they're gonna make a huge difference in your business, okay. Hi, she dropping those truth bombs. I just can't help it, right? Just to be honest, stop calling yourself. I just want to tell people that you're not a newbie anymore, right? And I get that that's scary, but it also is like a beautiful thing to own, right? I know my stuff and I'm ready for the next level and I'm ready to sell out, right? Like I'm ready to sell out and move on to bigger and better problems because here's the good and bad news, right? Once you sell out in your business, there's other problems. Like no, life's problems don't go away when you make six figures, right? <laughs> it's wonderful and it's where you need to go and it's what you need to hit because if you wanna bring home money in your business, you have to make massive money. You have to make six figures in your business if you're gonna have a little bit of team support, if you're going to pay your taxes, if you're going to pay for software, like you have to make six figures, you have to work towards that, right? But that's not the end game, right? You still are gonna have challenges in your business. However, I want you to at least up-level your challenges. Ideally, every six months, you're up-leveling your challenge. Maybe your first challenge before was just to get visible for the first time, right? Now that you're visible, you need the next challenge. You need to sell out. Once you're sold out, we'll deal with that. what's after that. Usually it's team, right? But allow yourself to really own the level that you're at so that you can move on from it, right? I love this. Okay, she owns, I'm not a newbie. Elizabeth says, I'm an oldie. I love that. Or expert. How about I'm an expert? How do we feel about that one, right? That's once I get you to own, like, this is my secret. You want to know, like, my secret? You guys know as a past therapist, like, I'm big into language, right, and how that can change our beliefs. Once I get you to own, I'm not a newbie, the next level is owning, I'm an expert, right? Okay, she says I'm not I'm not a newbie. Joanna says I'm not a newbie. <laughs> You're seasoned. Ooh, seasoned. I like that too. I'm not a noob. I love that. I'm inspired by reading your time. <gasps> Brian, I didn't read your timeline story yet. Did you post that? Oh, I can't wait to read all these. Okay, so good. I cannot wait to read yours. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up now, but I need you guys to go live in the group today, right? You're gonna do that. Don't forget, we're, ro we're going back around, roping back around, roping back around to today's assignment, which is I don't care even if you're not caught up with the challenge, you're gonna skip to day four and you're gonna go live today for five minutes. What are you gonna go live on? One brave thing that I've done that I wanna share with you today is blank, right? You're gonna do your opening, you're gonna do some bullet points, you're gonna do some closing, and you're gonna make sure at the end, <laughs> don't make me message you, right? At the end, you, <laughs> I love that Elizabeth says, I'd like to call myself an authority. You totally are, Elizabeth. Okay, at the end, you're gonna say, if this story resonated with you, I would love to help you. Here's how you can work with me further, right? And if you need to look at yourself in the mirror and say that closing line a few times first, do it. But I really want, and make sure that you draft it out, right? It's okay to draft out um, that closing line and practice it, right? But at the end, make sure that you say, here's how you connect with me further. We leave people hanging. Maybe they were totally into you. Maybe they were totally into your vibe, but they weren't able, to, they don't know what to do next. So tell them where to follow you, how to connect with you, how to hop on a clarity call, right? Tell them all the things, right? Without shame. And again, remember, if selling feels icky, invite, 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 invite them to follow you on Instagram, invite them to hop on a clarity call, right? Really allow them to continue to work with you um, because it's good practice, but also because someone in the group actually may need what you have to offer, right? So like this challenge is practice, but it's also real life, right? Um, so allow yourself to do that and just trust yourself on the back end. If someone does sign with you, you're going to um, be able to 
help them, right? You can just trust yourself. Maybe this helps too. At the beginning of my business, I was like, I did have that fear of like, can I really help people? And so what I told myself at the very start is like, oh, worst case scenario, I was doing a um, like a life coaching group program for 10 women at the very first start when I was doing life coaching online. And I told myself, if these women hate it, I'll just refund them, right? And I had my out. And I'm not saying that's a really great mindset to have, but I just want you to remember, like you're an integrity business owner. You're gonna figure that out. And no one asked for a refund. Everything was fine. They were all delighted. And many of those women still follow me to this day. And so like, just remember, like remember who you are, right? Stop treating yourself like you're someone else. Really remember who you are. Okay, my loves, thank you for hanging out with me today. I just had way too much fun this week in the challenge. I'm also going live tomorrow to do a recap, new PST. So let's meet up here tomorrow. Same time, same place, you and me, let's do this. But between now and then, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna go live and I'm gonna watch it. Try to keep it to five minutes or less, that way I have time to watch them all. But I cannot wait to cheer you on. Um, and I'm just so proud of you. I know that this takes courage, but guess what? We're not here to make life easy. We're here to make an impact. You're here to make money, right? You're here to change people's lives. Remember what you're here for and that courage will be easier, okay? Okay, my loves, I will see you on your Facebook Live next. Lacey says, remember who you are, Simba. I love that movie, yes.